BS. Or it could be a leisure trip. You ain't just got to be busy. Okay. It can be a personal trip. So, hey, I, I want to take my baby to Disney World. Okay, well, when are you going? Oh, I'm going from XYZ to XYZ. All right, bet. Just be cool. So, that's because so if, if you get pulled over and your name get ranked, it goes straight to your PO. She, she needs to know you was going to be there. So, if I just book, now you can always just book. You can do that too now. Mm-hmm. But if you end up in Tennessee and you get pulled over, your name get ranked without prior mission. Now you got a problem with your people, so yeah, I'm yeah. trying to disclose all that. So I better chart. I, I I would be able to travel in December. Okay. okay. So that's how we're doing that. Man, so. I mean, like I said, man, I, I'm I'm looking forward to all your upcoming projects. Yeah. I'm looking forward to you know everything that you got going on. Uh, Hopefully you'll let me travel with you one day. Man, you my barber, man. You my barber on the road, man. Stop yeah. playing, yeah. man. Like hey, you know so what I'm talking about. I'm gonna tell y'all. When he called me, I'm out. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah well, definitely, man. Listen, man, we definitely, man, I got him mm-hmm. on the road, so if you, y'all get cut from a man Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah. I'm sorry, man. He with me, man. Hey, man. Hundred dollar line notes, man. Hey, hundred dollar line notes, man. No. Another hey. thing we got to, uh, I, I like to speak on before we get out of here is that coming together thing, man. It's, you know, not just, I ain't going to say Birmingham, Alabama, because that's cliche, but just coming together as people and letting the thing work, man. We can win and come together. A, a billion strong, man. We can come together, man. I'd have been in prison seeing how them part of the reason the Mexicans act toward us, each other, man. They don't care where you from, what you did, who, who you is, they rocking with you, like, and, and, and they move as a unit. Once we move as a unit, man, we are unstoppable. You feel what I'm saying? So, I'll just put that out there, just put that on somebody, brand who needs to hear that moving as a unit, man. We can't lose, man. I promise man, we can't. you know, so much, something that I want to see, I would love to see all the artists in Birmingham do something together. It's possible. For the simple fact that, like, it's so much talent in Birmingham. Technically, we doing it. Technically, we is doing it. Technically, yeah. we doing it. But you may see the three of us do it right here, another two of us do it right here, another six of us do it right here. Another. So we technically doing yeah. it. They just never seen all of us together. Man, and that'd that, be hard listen, to do. Not do you know how big of a show that would be, that'll be crazy. It can't. People will pay. People will pay the. the, the how much? I don't think it could happen. Uh, well, I don't think it could happen because multiple factors. I don't think it could happen because his schedule may may not yeah. permit it, or it's so much foolishness going on now. Yeah. Like yeah, with, I understand. I understand. With crews and yeah. the rappers may get along. Yeah, but they crew not. But yeah. the entourage. I was just looking at Bun B the other day, and he was saying how. Him and Pimp C was together. Facts, but they cruise but, was. But their crew oh, was. Pimp C autobiography was a fool. Oh, yeah. Mac, man. man, let's scratch that. Michael Max autobiography was the best. Okay. Now, nah, I'm sorry, Michael Max. Pimp C autobiography was the best. I'm sorry. I ain't, I ain't, yeah. I ain't gonna need to be politically correct and say Michael Max was the best. Pimp C autobiography was the best book I ever read in my life. And that's a fact. But back to what we were saying, though. Yeah, yeah, the, I mean, the I rappers may get along. I was listening to him. I was listening to him. I was listening to him. That's what he was talking about. He was saying that a lot of people that Pimp C, when he first got out, the people that he was rocking with, he didn't rock with. Nah, exactly. And some of the people that Bun B was rocking with, Pimp C didn't rock with. Yeah. So they, you know, they was together. Yeah. But he was just saying he had to let him do him. Yeah. And that drew a wedge between them, but, but, but in the him, end, they came together. got out of that post-dramatic stress syndrome yeah. that all of us get out of prison because yeah. I got it. Okay. Like, I be scared every day. Yeah. And scared for what? I don't know. Yeah. But every day, I be scared. Like, not because I think that gonna happen or that gonna happen. That is just a sort of anxiety you cannot. If you went to the feds, mm-hmm. if you went to the state, you probably don't feel this. Shit. Mm-hmm. But if you went to the feds, it's a sort of anxiety because how they come and get you. Okay. You, okay. You, you don't know you in trouble okay. until they got you in handcuffs and they put that paper in front of you like, nigga, on um, March 15, 1997, you did this. March 13, 1999, you did this. You feel me? Mm-hmm. You, think, you thought you got away with that. So it's a certain anxiety. And, 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 and I'm not even doing nothing, mm-hmm. but it's still a certain anxiety that you get out of prison with. Like, man, when stuff going too good, you get scared. And I and, and I got that, so I'm I'm saying that to resonate with Pimp. Mm. Pimp got out with a certain anxiety where he want he wanted to be around like minded people. Also, he trying to find his mojo that Bun B never lost because Bun B mm. has all uh, has been out. Once you go to prison and come back out, it's a certain mojo you trying to find. You're not trying to be your old self, but you're trying to be your old self, but better than him. Mm-hmm. 
If that makes sense. No, he said that today too. If that makes sense. He said that today too. I mean, that that was one thing that he did. There's some anxiety you get out with. Like, I want to be the north side weasel that I was before I left. He was careless. He was charismatic. He was this. He was that. I want to be him, Mm -hmm. but I want to be better than him. Mm -hmm. So I don't. It's it's tricky. It's crazy. I'm going to tell you something. I was talking to a a guy. He used to cut my shop. Uh, He said, man, he said, I like the old north side weasel. He said, the new Northside Weezy, he said, I, I, I know he trying to, you know, he getting back. He said, I like that. He said, but that old Northside Weezy, man, I understood him better. He said, but I know he finna come back to that. Nah. You know, nah, you know, I'm you not know. coming back to that. Okay. I'm, I'm, it's, it's like a caterpillar and a butterfly. Okay. If you was hanging with me when we was in the dirt, we we crawling through all the dirt. So yeah, the ants and the ladybugs and the... Dragonflies, no, not dragonflies, but the ants and the spiders, yeah, they're gonna love a caterpillar. Not calling it cause a caterpillar, mm-hmm. I mean, not calling it cause a bug, but you're gonna love what you can relate to. Mm-hmm. If I can't fly, you're gonna love me because I, you can't fly me, so we're in the dirt. Mm-hmm. Once I evolve to a butterfly, mm-hmm. now the dragonflies and the flies and the blah, 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 blah the birds love me. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So it's like, if you can't follow the transition, you can't follow, it's all about evolution. What the hell is we gonna sit here? Q, if you still act how you acted when you was in ninth grade, man, how would your wife feel? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you feel? I mean, I look at it like this. It's all about growth. You know, that's all it's about. Eagles don't fly with kids. Eagles don't fly That's all it's about. Yeah. about. If I still acted the way I acted before I went to yeah. prison, yeah. I'm going to go back to the prison. Yeah. You feel me? If I still yeah. did the things I did and moved the way I did before I went to prison, I'm going to go back to prison or worse. Yeah. So, I feel how you, I, 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 and I love bro whoever said that for saying that because I was in another mindset then. He may still be in that mindset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He may still be in that lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. But I have evolved and my music going to show that because that's my music. It's coming out of my brain. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, like I say, though. The, Man, sometimes what you be thinking when you be... Like, like, I mean, the stuff that, I mean, just listen to your music, like, man, how you come up with that? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It'd it be my mindset. Like, it'd be, hey. now, 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 I would be in a mindset or that young Weezy yeah. and put it on wax. Or, or, or I, I mean, be in that mindset or the future Weezy and Let me put tell it you on so. wax. One day, on one day I was in your room and, you know, seeing this big old Apple screen Facts. with all this stuff on there. And you make it run, and I was like, then you came back and you put the hey, and yeah, you did the stuff. I was like, fact, fact. I was like, man, this dude a genius. Fact, he ain't gotta pay nobody. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah. I'm trying, I'm trying to compartmentalize our money. Yeah, like yeah, money. Yeah. I'm trying to cut that what it's about. But yeah. like, like I said, man, it's about evolution, man. Like, if you ain't changing, what is we doing? If That's we right. not changing, what are we doing? That's right. If you That's still right. pulled up. When you was young, you like the Chris Carter. If you would walk in here with your pants on backwards, man, I would look at you like, girl, what are you doing, man? You feel me? You would walk in here with, um, you feel me? Like a yeah. Jerry curl. Like, yeah. it's about evolution. Yeah. We change. Yeah. So, I mean, it's all about, you know, I feel like this. And, you know, I, I, I had to grow up fast, you know. But it's like this with me. I try to reinvent myself. I'm going to say this right here. This man, not a worth of game. They can take it how they want to take it. We got to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. If you're comfortable, you ain't doing something right. Yeah. We got to get comfortable I mean, with being uncomfortable. The virus didn't tell us that. Now, because we got comfortable with that. Well, now so we have. It, 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 if we comfortable, bro, we're not doing something right. Yeah. My best friend, bro, no corn money. He told me one thing, man, that, and we didn't talk to gazillion times in life. We slept in the same bed. He told me one thing that stuck with me. One thing that stuck with me my whole life, and I don't know where the hell he learned it from, because yeah. I always try to use to beat him on knowledge. Yeah. So I don't know where the hell he learned it from. That boy said, brother, the only time you crash out is when you rush him and when you get comfortable. He told me that when, when we was like 19. When he said it, I didn't get it. But I, for some reason, it stuck with me, then his life kept going on. So I did, right? The only time you mess up is when you comfortable or you rush him. So you got to keep that difference. That little middle ground, middle ground. Some kind of way okay. you gotta keep that middle yeah. ground yeah. where you I'm not comfortable, but I ain't rushing. Mm-hmm. I'm not and, and, and I'm the biggest rusher in life. Like I think I'm like that right now. I'm a I'm man, like, I'm the biggest I'm not rusher in life. But I ain't rushing either. Exactly. So yeah. what so what whatever that kind of ground you got, yeah. you gotta do that. But yeah. still it's all about evolution. So we gotta get comfortable with being uncomfortable, man. You uncomfortable, man. Like if you put me in a room with all the men that I had everybody look at Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Jeff Bezos, all those guys. If you put me in the room with them right now and they talking, I would be uncomfortable. 
I would be ready to go back to Collegeville. I would be ready to go back to the bottom. I'd be ready to go back to Norwood because I'm bored. Mm -hmm. I'm uncomfortable, man. It's boring as hell. Mm -hmm. But they doing something that we all look up to. So if I can just fight that uncomfortableness mm -hmm. for a week or two, by next month, I'm going to be in here like, yeah. And then, you know, we got to do, mm -hmm. I'm going to be able to resonate with what they saying. You feel That's me? how I felt when y'all was talking about the books. Facts. Yeah. You was uncomfortable, yeah. but you was interested. But I was interested, I'm like, okay. So now you, yeah. now you telling me you, you, you don't read books. Well, the next week, you know what I did? When I got a book. I started doing this. So, oh, that, that, <laughs> that, that, that too will please get on them books. Now, it may be like, man, it's boring once you read a page or two. So, get a book, read, it set you a, um, uh, itinerary for the book. I'm gonna read five pages of this book every day. Okay. And watch automatically your brain gonna start going past five. And you okay. you gonna be like, damn, I read from page 27 to 189 a day. That's crazy. It's gonna start getting something that you enjoy. And man, I've been slipping. I haven't really read a book since I've been out. And I and I need to get back on it. So I'm I, I need to I need to practice what I'm preaching. But like you gotta get comfortable with being uncomfortable because like you feel me? Because I'm I'm comfortable in the trenches. I'm comfortable there. Like, I'm comfortable in the ghetto, like the most wretched spot uh -huh, uh -huh. you can find in Birmingham. <laughs> I'm comfortable right there. But you can ask my that's how I grew up. I'm always saying, like, man, I gotta go do something else. I gotta go find something yeah. to do. So I branch out and go place that I'm not comfortable at. Yeah. So I can, you know, but I'm comfortable in the trenches. But the trenches is not what I need to be. So I get comfortable being uncomfortable. You feel me? So that's something that whoever listened to this, whoever heard this, can take with them, like, okay, yeah, I gotta get comfortable. That's even with working out health wise. Yeah. Like yeah. trying to do them first push ups when you ain't worked out in never. Yes. But when, when you ain't worked out in never, it's gonna be very uncomfortable. Yeah. But once you get in that groove, yeah. Oh, yeah. man. You know I mean? yeah. Oh man. I get that sometimes. You feel? Yeah. Yeah. So you gotta get comfortable being uncomfortable for health wise, mental wise, right. spiritual wise. A lot of guys like us ain't comfortable in church. Yeah. But once you keep going, you feel the spirit and you see what it can do for you. Right. You gonna be like, okay, I right. should have been dead this, but initially you kind of you smelling like weed. Yeah, yeah. You 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 got on what you yeah. went to the platinum lab. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna say you you you, yeah. you left the platinum came straight exactly. to the church. You got on fire yeah. chains. Yeah. You yeah. feel like people living at your front. Yeah. You uncomfortable, but yeah. you need this. So yeah. Yeah. spirit spiritually, mentally, physically, you gotta get comfortable being uncomfortable. It's basically right. what I'm getting up with that. You feel right. what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Man, man. Listen, man. I, I promise you, I can talk to you all night, man. I, I mean, you know, uh, I, I really thank you for this, man. Uh, the first interview, home. Uh, Big fat. And Northside Weezy. first interview, home. That's yeah. crazy. You yeah. got that. I know it. You I, I, I knew what I was you doing. I knew what I was doing. That's why I stayed on you. you but I got one more for you. We got, we got, we got, we got to pull out. But, uh, you know, uh, coming up in a couple of weeks. But, uh, but man, I, like I said, the first interview, home. And I, I really appreciate you, man, for doing this. Um, I'm just getting started. Uh, Big facts. My second interview. Big facts. And I wish you much luck. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. trying to get you on drink champs level. Yeah. Big facts yeah. level. Like I'm finna yeah. get you out. Like yeah. I'm gonna stay on your head every day about it. I appreciate it. I'm gonna stay really on your head every day about it. I, I, I need, need one with where. With the mail, man. yeah, that's that's what I was saying. Connect thoughts with me yeah, and the mail, yeah, man. That, I need to connect thoughts with corporate and corporate yeah, connect that, thoughts with the trenches. That's right. And, and we can come to well, a, a well, mutual actually, actually, to be honest with you, fed. his schedule. And shout out, out Randy Wolfen, by the way. Yeah, his schedule is so crazy because he want he he wants to uh, do an interview. So that's the next one I'm gonna do. Yeah, facts, um, man. We need to connect thoughts from up down to down here, yeah. so you know, so we can have a common ground on yeah. how we look at things and how they look at things and come to a neutral agreement. You feel me? Because like I was telling you. We cannot believe in the same thing or look at things the same way, but we can still be like-minded people. That's right. That's right. So just because you like the blue power version and I like the red one, we yeah. still like-minded people that's because right. we watch power. Watch power. Right. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? That's so, right. That's right. You know, you feel what I'm yeah. saying? That's how I'm good with that. So man, yeah, man, put man, put me in the circle. That's the same. Hey, hey, it's already it's already happening. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, yeah. like I say, everybody rocking with you. They they calling your name. You know, Facts. Uh, he was definitely one of them. Facts. You know, Shout um, out man, Wolf and my. You know, um. So, so we, we about to make this thing happen, man. And I, I just want to tell you again, cause thank you so much. I appreciate you, you know, for this. I'll be see you Friday, Saturday. Okay. Well, we, we usually do Friday, so. I got a show tomorrow. I probably got to come down in the morning. You, you need to come in the morning. I need to come in the morning, though. I'll be yeah, there tomorrow, no cap. So, man, look, man. Hey, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And thank you for looking. I appreciate well, all y'all we always. We're out, man. We're going to make it happen. we signing off. Most definitely. We out of here like last year Most or definitely. the year before. You know what I'm saying? What the wait now? I don't know. We still